Okay, listen. Okay, wait. Um. Yeah. Wow. Delicious. Okay. I was doing, <laughs> I was doing like this really cute shot of me opening some packages that I received. I was in the middle of opening this box, as you have probably seen like in the last couple of seconds, and I saw like this little thing, and I immediately recognized it, and I immediately realized that I didn't order this. When I realized this, I was like, stop the cameras, dead ass. I need to show my reaction to this because I'm pretty sure this was sent to me by one of you guys. Um, oh my god. <laughs> you don't understand. This is one of those books that, oh my god. You know, I'm just, let's continue opening this box because I want you guys to understand why I'm freaking the frick out. You freaking fricks. You freaking fricks! What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Look! Okay, if you're a fan of this series, you probably already, um, what's that word? Identify? No, you already recognize um, the back of this book. <sighs> Please, God. <laughs> it's the burning, wait, that's the post, that's the note. It's the Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the finale to the Poppy War series, um, trilogy, I'm sorry. V.E. Schwab blurbed it. It says this series is wonderful. I wouldn't really describe it like that because it's very bloody. It's actually based on true events. There's just like a lot of pain and blood overall, so I wouldn't really call it wonderful. When I first read The Poppy War, it instantly became a favorite. Like the writing style, the characters, the way that R.F. Kuang builds this story and just the way that her mind works is insane, and I have yet to read the finale to this trilogy. I don't know why I never got around to buying this book, but somebody bought it for me. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. Stop! What? Okay, y'all, I don't know if you remember, but Nicole, you know Nicole? Um, the one, where are the books? Um, Nicole, where are the books? So Nicole, in another vlog of mine, sent me this huge box of pure joy and happiness that contained one of my new favorite books, um, a book that I've been meaning to read for always, and one of my new favorite middle grade books. And now she goes ahead and sends me the burning god again? Like, I don't understand what I've done to deserve a person like Nicole to deem me worthy of sending me gifts, but I am overwhelmed with happiness and I'm like sweating. I'm so happy. <laughs> I read one of the comments that was left in that vlog saying like, I will never understand why people send books to booktubers. And honestly, like I understand her or them a little bit. Um, it's kind of wild. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of insane. But the fact that you appreciate me enough and that you support me enough to send me a book like out of the kindness of your heart is just it's insane and it's beautiful it's like a crazy kind of beautiful and i don't know like thank you nicole so much for sending me the burning god i am so happy oh my god okay i'm sorry that i had to interrupt that beautiful aesthetic unboxing but i just had to scream and i'm so glad that i did so that was it. I need. I really actually need to go to work now, so I'm going to come back in a little bit and keep screaming. Okay? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I hope you're enjoying a nice cup of coffee, and I will talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Nicole, you're amazing. I love you. <laughs>
all my friends it's isabella welcome to this week's vlog um i hope you've been enjoying it so far i have some really exciting plans for today so i thought that i would vlog a little bit explain the plans and then just get right into it as you probably saw previously on the vlog i was cutting a bunch of manga panels and i am going to be putting them up today or tonight I'm going to be filling up my wall. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like up here, but I just wanna fill it up more so it doesn't look as empty and maybe like put one or two more here. This time around, I printed panels from Haikyuu because I am in love with it. I'm still on season one, but one of this week's goals is to finish season one and maybe get to like half of season two but we'll see. So far, I'm still loving it. So far, Hinata, Kageyama, and Nishinoya are still my favorites. Also, Tanaka. Like, I just... I mean, there are so many characters to love and adore. And it's so easy to love them as well because they're so lovable. Um, and there's like a character for every type of personality. And I just think it's hilarious. Also, last night, I binge-watched, literally binged, skate the infinity it has 12 episodes and they're each 24 minutes or like 23 so the fact that i watched episode 1 through 12 without standing up without taking any pee breaks without drinking water without eating without thinking i had never done that before like obviously since my love for anime rekindled i hadn't like straight up marathoned an anime and I did that last night and it felt so good. Like I went through the whole plethora of emotions last night. It was so wild. Who knew that skateboarding was going to be so intense? Cause I really didn't, but it's like this whole thing. It's like them bonding over skateboarding and him teaching him the basics. And there's like races, there's tournaments. There's so much beef between all of the characters and there's this one <laughs> character called Mia and he's tiny, he's a baby and I've officially adopted him as a child because the first scene that we have with him, I'm just like, that's it, that's the one. <laughs> And I adopted him because I love him, he's adorable, and I feel like I need to give him all the love in my heart. Like, that's the least I can do for him. If you're looking for a funny, intense, low-key, perfect anime, then I would really recommend Skate the Infinity. It's not action-packed, but it is pretty intense and like, there's never a dull moment, trust me. So I would really recommend Skate the Infinity. Um, why am I talking about anime? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You guys must be tired of me talking about anime, but um, it's a part of my life now. It's a part of my personality. Like depending on which anime I'm watching during the week, that's the type of person I'm gonna be. So I hope you don't mind too much. But yes, I'm going to be putting these up on my manga wall. So that's exciting. And I'm gonna do that later tonight because I want to finish Jane Eyre. Yes, I still haven't finished it. Now listen up, I am here. And there's actually like a bunch of index that doesn't really have anything to do with the story. It's more like it comes with, it's like notes on the text and like little further reading and stuff. So I'm not gonna count that. So I'm basically missing this. I'm in page 355 and this has 521, I am not going to do the math. It is too late for me. <laughs> like my brain is shutting down as we speak, but I really wanna finish this today because I wanna start this new book that I think you guys saw me unbox, which is Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch, written by Julie Abe. And okay, I got this. Look, it's um, so adorable. Like, oh my God, it reminds me of Kiki. And it also reminds me of the girl who drank the moon because they're like witches and stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just adorable. It's another middle grade. And I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with Yasmin over from Yasmin the Reader. We were first attracted to the cover because it's stunning. It's beautiful. Like middle grade, I feel has one of the most beautiful covers, like the art, the design, it's just out of this world. And we're going to be reading this together. Um, look, it's 
so cute. Okay, Eva Evergreen is determined to earn the rank of novice witch before her 13th birthday. If she doesn't, she'll lose her magic forever. That's like Kiki. Okay, she's not gonna lose her magic forever, Kiki, but she is tr about to turn 13 and um, the witches need to do like this flying test, their first time flying solo when they're about to turn 13. So it's like literally Kiki. Oh, that's so fun. So we are going to be reading this, but I don't want to start it before I finish Jane Eyre because if I keep putting this off, I just know it's I'm probably going to end up finishing it in like September. So I really want to take advantage of my classical reading mood and finish this today and then start Eva Evergreen. Um, since it's a middle grade, I think my second middle grade, I am very excited to see how I feel about the writing and the style and the characters. Like, I want to see how easy it is to get into the story. So that's exciting. These are today's plans, today's reading plans. Um, anime related, we are going to start Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I've heard really amazing things, especially that the art and design is fantastic, amazing, incredible. Like, I've seen some of the icons and I've seen some of the scenes and it's like... It's really beautiful. Like they went above and beyond what a normal anime does. So I'm very excited to see it. It's only one season. It's only 12 episodes, just like Skate the Infinity. So maybe I'll even finish it today, but I don't want to binge watch it. Like I just want to start it and see how I feel. K-drama related. I felt like I haven't talked about K-dramas in a long time, but my Netflix, my Dominican Netflix is a little bit behind. And there's this one K-drama that came out at the same time that True Beauty was coming out. Out. so like at the beginning of the year it's called run on and it's not on my netflix but i checked and it's coming this saturday and i'm so excited i've been wanting to watch that k-drama for so long ever since it came out because it looks so good and everybody on tumblr if you still use tumblr I'm still there. <laughs> um, but everybody was raving about it on Tumblr, saying it was fantastic, like the messages, the characters, the character development, the storyline itself. So I really want to watch that this weekend. On the K-drama department, that's what's going to happen. On the anime department, Toilet Bound. And on the book department, Jane Eyre and Eva Evergreen. And on my room decoration department, manga panels manga panels <laughs> so as you can see it's going to be a very interesting vlog hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far how are you guys doing um i've been talking to a lot more of you guys through instagram dms and i feel like it's just so wholesome and it's so beautiful because we're just bonding over the animes that we love and the books that we love and the k-pop artists that we love and it's just like such a beautiful community when i say that i hope you're having a nice day i really actually mean it like every single one of you i hope you're doing wonderful and i hope something good happens to us today like we deserve it we deserve a break talk to you guys later i hope you're enjoying i love you all so much have a wonderful day Let's get this started. <laughs>
俺はカイリーさ<笑>学園七不思議が七番目トイレの花子さんはじめましてはい、チーム、ユナイス、キープゴイン。